Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more of the Long Dark Winter Mute Episode 2. So, we are in the repair place. I'm not even sure what this place is called, actually. Where, where, where's my map? The maintenance yard. Okay, yeah, this is the maintenance yard. We are very far from home, and we have just spent the night uh, in the office here because there was a bed, and I made a campfire, and I dried off all my clothing. So, we did have a risk of hypothermia. Uh, that is now gone overnight because we. Uh, sorted ourselves out. I've also dried off and unfrozen all of our gear that was wet and cold when we arrived. And yeah, since last night I did do a little kind of another run around to try and find stuff. Uh, obviously I keep missing stuff because this place is pretty big. Uh, but if anyone's worried I'd missed stuff like the desk drawers and stuff, I did go through those before I turned in for the night. And I've actually dropped off a bunch of stuff into this locker. So we've got to make some hard decisions on what we can actually afford to, to take with us. Um, if you kind of look at some of the stuff we've got, like I'm probably not going to take any firewood. We don't need to be carrying that many matches. You know, this stuff we've got pretty easily back at home. Um, medical supplies we obviously want to take with us. We're going to leave all this clothing behind. None of this is actually very good. Um, I don't think we really need anything. Those new work gloves are bad. I might just double check the work gloves. Let me let me double check the work gloves. Um, I don't need decent running shoes because we've got decent boots on. All of our gear is actually in pretty good condition right now. We have got a good amount of food on us and a decent amount of water. So I want to take as much back of that as we can. And this is where it's going to get very difficult. All of these tools. Now, we picked up a bunch of new tools here. The um, bolt cutters, uh, a hacksaw. Those are all new to me. Never used those before. Not entirely sure what they're used for. Um, we also have a, another hatchet, which we've already got one. So I've taken the, the better hatchet. Uh, we found another pry bar, so I've taken the better pry bar. I don't really see the point in carrying an, another one of those around. And that's 2.5 kilos of weight. We're already up to 28.9 kilos right now. Uh, we did have another sewing kit, but we've got another sewing kit back home. It is only 0.1 weight. I mean, we okay, technically we can afford it, I guess, because we just, we just drunk up a bunch of water before I started. So actually, we are carrying less than I thought we were. So okay, we can carry that. Uh, and actually, the whetstone. Yeah, we can probably we can probably afford the whetstone. Um, that will probably do for now. There is also, we're carrying a big jerry can full of fuel, which is quite handy. Um, but I'm having to leave a lot of lantern fuel behind. I might see what we can do with that. I would like to take the storm lantern with us as well. We do have another one at home, so this isn't too essential. But if I can fill that up and bring it with us, that would be handy. But right now, pick you up. What we need to do is actually repair the goddamn gun. That's why we came here. Um, it's kind of dark in here. Actually, is it still really dark in here? It looked really dark earlier. Oh, it is actually... Okay, it is actually brightening up. I guess it is still pretty early in the day. Maybe I don't even need the lantern right now. Uh, the lantern is actually too heavy for me to carry. Maybe that's why I didn't take the western stuff. How much over am I on weight? Point five. Yeah, point... Damn it. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave you there for the time being. There we go. Yeah, now I'm not carrying too much stuff. Because we do need to go repair this rifle. And currently we're not actually carrying the rifle, so I'm not sure how much the extra weight from that is going to work against us. But I'm guessing the hand-powered milling machine is, is, what I'm looking for. is what I'm looking for. So this is where we do a bit of rifle repair. Maybe? Okay, did we... Did we do it? Do I have a gun now? No. What am I meant to be doing? Wait, I thought that was... I thought that was my mission! Uh... Fix my rifle. Okay, find the railway maintenance yard and get into the repair shed. Use the hand-driven milling machine to repair Jeremiah's rifle. Look for more info about the forest talkers at the old hunting lodge. Wait, what? Wait, what? What What? What old hunting lodge? There's an old hunting lodge? Oh, shoot, up there. Oh, okay, so we've got to head out of here and head up this way. Interesting, I... Why am I doing that? I've got a rifle now. Well, apparently, well, apparently I fixed the rifle, but I don't have the rifle. That's disconcerting. Like, I was kind of looking forward to having that rifle, because I'm pretty certain I'm going to get attacked by a bear soon. Yeah, we've definitely been through all of here. Got all the water from the toilet. Do I do like me my toilet water. Uh, now we've got a bit of daylight. Let's just get, I did do this another run around with a torch last night. Because I had the fire going for several hours trying to dry off all of our gear that was wet and frozen. So I took a torch from the campfire so I could run around and check stuff. Just as if we had missed anything on the initial pass through. Uh, but I didn't actually find anything. There were a couple of bits in the office I'd missed that, though. I mean, we literally can't carry much more. Yeah, we did went through all of that. Like, there's a... Th I, f I feel like there should be something up here. Because, like, there's very specifically a way of getting up here. 
but I can't actually see anything around here I might want. Unless there's like something in these crates that I'm going to break down or something. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just they're playing to the mind of the gamer. They know I'm going to look at that and think, oh, there's going to be something up there. And there isn't. Now I'm going to try and turn the light on. Obviously, the lights won't work. I just wanted to flip the switch and see what happened, but hey. Okay, so we've done that. We've got to head off to the hunting lodge now. Okay. Um, so, what are we going to take with us? What are we going to leave behind? I can't really afford to take the storm lantern with us, although it would be useful. I do. I don't have a torch, actually. We did use the torch on the way here, didn't we? I thought I'd made a torch to bring with us. Must have used that at some point. Can I make another torch? If I had some sticks, I'm carrying plenty of lamp oil and cloth, so I can afford to actually make another one of those. So that's not too bad. We don't. We've got plenty of flares. I'm actually leaving a bunch of flares behind, which I'm. That, that's probably the thing I'm worried about most is leaving these flares behind because they are really useful. Um, I've still got three on me. Um, I suppose actually they're in point two five. I can. I can technically afford to carry that many, and a little bit of more lantern fuel, which is actually the same stuff that's in the jerry can. To be clear. Not leaving any food behind, which is fine. I mean, if I drink or eat something right now, will that help matters? I mean, how, how hungry are we? Uh, we're a bit peckish. We've got 1,300 calories in us and we've got a dry mouth. Uh, I mean, these cans, some of those cans of soda, I really hate these. 250 calories for 0.25 kilos is really bad. Um, so actually, I'm going to get rid of a couple of these. We don't need the hydration, but I'll take the calories just to top me up. I mean, you do get hydration from them as well. I'm possibly a bit... I'm, I'm, I'm not against the idea that I'm actually wrong about that, but it feels like they're just not great. Um, that has opened up a bit more space. Can I fit in some more lantern fuel? I guess I can. 0 0.49. 2 point, 2 2.29.96 kilos of our 30 kilo carry capacity. Okay, that's gonna have to do, I think. Um, we are we are stocked up, we are fueled up, we are ready to go. The rifle is repaired, so now I've got to get up to the hunting lodge. Okay, um, so that takes us back to the offices. This is the door we couldn't get in before, I think. So can I get out this side? No, it's just locked. It doesn't even say find a key. It just it's just locked. It's not for us. So the hunting lodge isn't too far away. We just need to be careful because there are lots of wolves around right now. And yeah, I'm. Th there's a bear around. There's a man hunting bear that is very angry. Oh. Oh, damn! Must have hit my head harder than I thought. Oh. Oh. Not sure why the video and the audio just desyncs, but okay. We've just collapsed for some reason. Also, there was a lot of flickering lights going on. Oh. Whoa! 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 The lights are on. The How lights. Long, long enough, the lights have come back on. What? What? Oh, there's a computer. Hey, I can play computer games. Can I play computer games? Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Um, that that's really bad. Um, load. 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 Oh god, I can. Wow. There is a lot of. Right. Okay. There's a lot of walls around, and I'm encumbered. Why am I suddenly encumbered? I was very careful about my weight. Why am I carrying too much stuff? I'm carrying point How am I carrying point zero one too much stuff? Where did that come from? Where have I pi what have I picked up this new? What what am I carrying this new now? What hang on. Game. Game. What have you done? What have you given me that I didn't have before? That's weird. We we gained point five of a kilo for somewhere. Or 0.05, I don't know, maps. Okay, the lights are back on, that's cool. Oh, 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 okay. I think I know where the lights are back on. Uh, so that's oh, the... Shit. That's the aurora that we what saw the when, the, when the plane came down. The hate the light. Oh, they don't like the light. Oh, the lights are back on and the wolves are staying away from the light. Okay, so if I stay, like, here... You're not going to attack me. You're not... Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That is interesting. Okay. Right, I need to stop saying that's interesting. We need to actually move on, because I've got to get up to the hunting lodge. Um, 
Where is the hunting lodge? Where am I? Which one am I facing? I need to head north, but... North to the river? I mean, we came in from that direction. So that's up to the railroad track, so I need to go around the other side of this place. Okay. Are there lights? Oh, there are lights. Okay. Okay, so if I leave the pool of lights, they're going to get angry and come after me. But as long as I get to another patch of light, I should be safe. Okay. So the Aurora Borealis is back, and it's causing the power to well, come back on. Okay. The wolves are scoping. Okay, the next light is quite far away. Um, wish I'd made a torch now, to be honest, but that would require branches, which I don't have. Yeah, okay, this is the way we need to go. How are we doing on body temperature? Okay, it is cold out. Whoa, it's actually night time. Okay, that makes sense, because the Aurora Borealis. Damn it, I was really careful about getting ready and leaving in the morning, and now it's night time again. Okay. Um, we can sprint. I don't want to sprint until I have to. I'm pretty certain I'm going to have to at some point. I can't actually see, the, see or hear the wolves right now. So yeah, so we saw this Aurora when the plane went down, and since then all the power's been off. Um, so this clearly had some kind of influence on the... Na on the on power worldwide, as far as I'm guessing from the game, because everything turned off. Nothing would turn on. We haven't seen anything work. All the cars are broken. Everything. Um, oh, there you go. Okay, you are coming after me. Fine. Where's the next patch of light? I can't actually see the next patch of light. Up there. Okay, a little bit of sprinting, just to make sure we get there. Okay, that's fine. So, clearly there's been some kind of solar flare. That's the only thing that would account for an aurora like this and screwing up the power grid. Some th things like this have happened in the past. Um, there was something in the 1800s that screwed up all the electric telegraphs at the time. And it was very interesting to read about. I'll have to try and actually find it. I need to read up on that again. But it actually, like like what is happening now, it actually powered electrical things that weren't even connected to a power grid. Okay, these lights are flickering, so I'm guessing this is going to be a we-need-to-sprint kind of situation. Maybe. I can't actually hear any or see any wolves. But I'm guessing the flickering lights are going to be a lot less effective. Yeah. Run, run. If I don't, I don't want to use a flare if I don't have to. If the lights are going to stay on. That's good. Where are you? Okay. Yeah, so there's, no, there's a thing in the 1800s with electric telegraphs that um, basically they started working in the middle of a solar flare. And they couldn't be turned off because they weren't even connected to a power grid. They were just picking up enough charge from the atmosphere to actually turn themselves on. Which is pretty damn cool. I mean, don't ask me about the science of it. I'm not a scientist. I have no idea how that actually happens. Uh, but there's, it, it did happen. There's like plenty of recorded recorded things. But this is this is the thing that happened. Okay, I need to get through this. Oh, I've got to cut it. Oh, hence the bolt cutters. That makes sense. So let's go. Can I? Yeah. I'm going to close that because there's wolves over there and I don't want the wolves coming through. So... I'm hoping there's not wolves on this side of the gate, maybe? Oh, oh, well, okay, that makes the moon look really weird. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Man, it is kind of beautiful, though. I've never actually seen the Northern Lights myself, and I would love to one day. Because that is... that is kind of awesome. Okay, we're doing fine. We're actually okay. We're getting pretty cold. We're not doing too bad or anything else. I don't want to sprint unless I have to, but we can do. I mean, we should be pretty close to the hunting lodge, which might be nice because if like the power's turning back on, things might be working again, like heaters or something. Radio might be on. Ooh, I should try the radios. Okay, yeah, that'd be interesting. If we see any radios, I need to try them. Oh, hang on, we've got lights again. Okay, there's wolves over here. I can't see them, and I can't hear them. I just know there's walls around here. I was kind of hoping closing that gate would save me, but apparently not. I'm guessing the hunt... I don't want to go away from the lights. I'm guessing the hunting lodge is in the direction of the lights. Okay, we've got another flickery run. I don't want to test if they work or not, you know? Is a tent over there? I'm not even going to go look. Not right now. Oh. Okay, no, I need to get into the lights. I need to get into the lights. There we go. No. No. Bad wolf. Bad wolf. I will shoot you in the face, and this will kill you. You know what? Oh. 
Damn it, how did that miss? I should have aimed a little bit higher, I guess. This thing does drop off really quickly. Okay. Now, just to check, I can't actually pick that up, guy. No. I mean, that makes sense. The flare shells are hot, let's say. Okay, he's coming back around. Where's the next? There we go. There's the next light. Nope, nope, I hear you. Nope. No, no, bad wolf. I will try. I will, if I can, I will hit you in the head with this blimmin' t gun again. Oh, there's another one over there as well. Can't see how close he is. Oh, right there. Nope, you can't enter the light. Fine. I don't want to waste another shell if I don't have to. He might back off in a minute. Come on. Okay, you are okay. Okay. I'm gonna just use that as a we used up two shells, which kinda sucks. But um, ah. Hunting Lodge. Must have been really nice Ooh, yeah, the lights on the uh, truck are on and everything. Okay, I might truck check truck truck the truck out. I might check the truck out kind of in daytime. Um I can't imagine there's actually enough, it's working enough that we're going to kind of drive out of here, but let's get inside. I mean, there might actually be, like, people here or something. That would be kind of interesting. <laughs> Looks like this might be where those eco-terrorists were hiding out. Let's see if they left anything useful. Okay, let's hope none of them are actually here, let's be honest. Um, search the lodge for supplies, something here could save your life. Okay. I mean, the gun I've got could kind of save my life if I could actually use the damn thing. Um, like, there's almost enough light in here to see what I'm doing, but not quite. Oh. Wait. What did I fix at the m milling machine? I thought that was the rifle. Not much for guns, but after what I've been through lately, better to be safe than sorry. I need to drop something. Okay, now, okay, now I have a rifle? Now I have two rifles? Hello. Okay. Okay. Put a clip in there. And one extra bullet. Six rounds on the gun. Okay. I think this gun holds ten. I'm very confused because I've not been paying attention, clearly. Use the hand-driven milling machine to repair Jeremiah's rifle. So we did bring Jeremiah's rifle with us, and I did use the milling machine, and I did repair the rifle. But for some reason, I'm not going to use Jeremiah's rifle. I'm going to use the other rifle. What? Why? Why? Why can't? I, why couldn't I've used the other rifle? Um, okay, there's got to be more stuff around here. I'm guessing. Does that? Yeah. It says something here could save my life. Apparently, it doesn't mean the rifle that I just picked up. I am now carrying too much stuff, though. Uh, I am going to pop a flare because it's kind of dark in here and I can't see. There we go. Cool. Uh, right. What we got? Is that bullets? Ooh, rifle ammunition. This will come Number in. five bullets. Okay, good. And a rifle cleaning kit, which will help us maintain the rifle. Okay. Good, good, good. We've got a fireplace I can light up. We've got a crate. Uh, we've got, we've got, yeah, okay, we've got tinder, plugs, accelerants. That's actually pretty good stuff. Oh, another storm lantern. Damn it. I do need to light this up. Okay. Um, that's annoying. Because I've wasted a flare. Uh, let's not go down into the creepy basement just yet. Uh, what is that? Is that peanut butter? Ooh, actually, oh, peanut no, butter is actually really good to eat. And cooked rabbit. Huh. How long has that been there? Okay, I can use that storm lantern in a minute. We'll, we'll use this flare until it runs out. Coffee, a bunch of sodas. Uh, I do like those. We'll take those. Uh, herbal tea as well. Okay. Herbal tea is good for ensuring a decent night's rest. Okay, do you want to go downstairs or do you want to go upstairs? Ooh, more crackers. I do like me the salty crackers. Is that a cup of tea as well? <gasps> a cup of herbal tea. Okay, we might have that before we go to bed. It will help ensure a good night's sleep. I think it means you get all your stamina back very quickly. <sighs> yeah, we're getting tired because I'm carrying too much stuff, but he's just going to have to deal with it now. Um, what we got? Is that a bed I can use? Ah, right, okay. So I don't know if we're going to meant to spend the night here or not, but we might be. More bullets. Okay, I didn't even check how many that was. Uh, how many bullets do I currently have? This is a uh, this is going to be an important thing for me to know. I have ten bullets and six in the gun. Wow, we've actually got sixteen bullets. 
Now this is going to be the thing. You've got to be careful with your bullets. They are obviously very useful. You can't just go shooting every wolf you see. And definitely don't use them for hunting rabbits. Obviously. Ooh, another bullet. Also, always keep an eye out for bullets on the ground. Because they do roll into corners quite a lot in this game. That'll come in handy. Windbreaker. Okay, we can afford to just carry a bunch of crap around with us right now. Um, we might we might use this trunk to actually store some stuff in a bit. But like all this new clothing, I want to check out and see if it's actually any good. Um, so right, that's where I came up. So we've got a bunch of rooms all around. There doesn't appear to be anyone here. I'm assuming there was someone would have come and said something by now if anyone was around. Uh, bandages are actually pretty handy to have, so we'll take those. Just looking in the corners for bullets and stuff. Could end up being useful. Okay, I'll take the line, but not the newspaper print, because we don't need that right now. I don't think I need to start a fire anytime soon. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to turn a corner and there's going to be someone standing there. I'll scare the crap out of me. Another bullet on the floor. Thank you. That's like 18 bullets now. I think Another I sewing kit. Gloves. Okay, we'll take all that. There's some boots there, but I'm not going to worry about them. Our current boots are really good. So I'm not too worried about new boots. If I, if I am collecting shoes, it's because I want them for the leather to keep the current boots we've got maintained. Now, these flares do go a really long time. I, I always forget how long they burn for. Okay, I don't think there's actually anything in, in this room at all. So I guess we need to go down to the basement. Okay, I think just to be on the safe side, I will drop off all that clothing I'm carrying, because we are we are weighing ourselves down a lot, which does tire us, uh, tire us out, which does cause us to burn calories faster, which does cause us to need more sleep, which is just, yeah, bad. Uh, there we go. Get rid of all that. Am I carrying anything else I don't need right now? Oh, that's down to... Oh, 18%. Okay. Interesting. So you can actually check that and see how long the flares got left to burn. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know that. So the condition actually tells you how long the flare's going to burn for. That's pretty good to know. Uh, right. Definitely more bullets around here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to throw this. And then go back up and grab the storm lantern. Because it's not going to last long enough to search that entire room, I don't think. There we go. And how much fuel have you got? Ooh, wow. Almost a whole litre. Not, not so keen on the basement with the flickering lights, I've got to be honest. Um, is that a torch? <gasps> what have we here? Wait, does that work? Battery's probably dead. Still, might come in handy at night. Is that going to work, though? I mean... Flashlight. They hate the light. As you explore the world, you may discover that some electric tools that have been inert since the first flare, like flashlights, are brought to life by the strange aurora, aurora lights in the night sky. The flashlight can help you find your way in the darkness. It can also have unexpected effects on wildlife. Okay. I'm not sure what, how I feel about unexpected events, but what? What the? What? What? What the what? Wait. 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 I can't even see where the phone is. Where's the phone? Is it upstairs? It would be kind of... Oh. It stopped. Maybe I should have been quicker. What do we have here? Okay, there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff back there. Wait. I want to go... I want to find out about the phone. The phone just bloody went. Where's the phone? Is it upstairs? It must be upstairs. Where's the damn phone? Oh, there. Okay, I was looking at that a minute ago. Are you... Okay, I can't actually do anything with you. Damn, was I meant to run up here and answer that? Did I just miss something? Crap. Okay, yeah, so we can use that to cook on as well if we need to. Um, man, there's so much stuff here. We're not going to be carrying, able to carry half of this stuff. Um, I'm really not. I think I might have just missed a phone call from someone. Maybe they'll phone again. Is that a thing I can open? No, okay. Uh, 
Uh, right, what have we actually got over here? Not much. What's that? A small case for something? Oh, it's a shelf. Okay. I thought it was like a glass front of case. Um, I'm not seeing a huge amount down here. There's obviously all the stuff at the back there. A few boxes and no bullets lying around. I do like it when people leave bullets lying around. It's very helpful to me in the whole. Is that a hand? Oh, it's a glove. Oh, okay. That was mildly alarming. Hey, bullet. Um, that was mildly alarming because I thought that was a hand. So I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. Right, what have we actually got here? What are you down? Right. Oh, mountaineering rope. Okay, we did, this. You, we did lose our last set of mountaineering ropes, so that's actually going to be pretty handy. And I'm guessing the game's going to want that. Uh, there's some more water. And forest talker map, map note. Meet up at the abandoned hunting lodge on the outskirts of Mystery Lake. GPS coordinates, blah 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 blah. We have to stop at those Brayer House corporate. We're not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay. Does that update my mission? Apparently it does. Get back to Jeremiah. Okay. Yeah, we probably need to get back to Jeremiah pretty quickly because he doesn't have a gun. I have the gun now. And I have my own gun now. Which is good. This will come in handy. Oh, that was actually two flare shells. Good. Where should we place the flare shells I used on the way here? Perfect. Uh, I've got some cloth. Now, those gauntlets might actually be pretty useful. Warm and tough, just like you want to be. Yes, that does sound good. And we do have a workbench here I can use, um, although I don't really have anything to make right now. Um, hopefully, by the time we get back to Jeremiah's, the, uh, the cloth stuff will have repaired. Uh, sorry, the, the, cure, uh, the gut will have cured. And I can start making more snares. Okay, this was quite interesting. Um, I wasn't expecting the power to start turning back on. Although, yeah, no, it's still the aurora is still going. It's kind of crazy. Um, what are we going to do? I'm carrying so much stuff that I have no idea what I need to do. Do I need to wait the night out for the aurora to end, or do I try and get back now while the aurora is ongoing? I mean, I don't know how long this thing's going to last. It is night time. Although not for much longer. Um, maybe I should rest up here for like the rest of the night. And then head off in the morning. And maybe the Aurora will still be going and we can use the lights to get out. If not, I've got a rifle with a lot of bullets. We've got 13 bullets. And 8, 9... We go, hey, we've got 10, 11... Okay, I think we've got ten bullets in the gun, and we've got nine spare. That would make nineteen. Yeah, that that kind of that sounds about right. Um, that is actually a lot of bullets. I don't think I've ever had that many bullets in the survival mode. But yeah, so I think what we're going to do, I'm actually going to probably call this episode to an end soon because it is running on a bit. Um, I'm going to spend the night here, and we're going to wait till morning, see if the aurora is still going. We're going to have to decide where we're going to leave because how much stuff am I carrying right now? I'm carrying a lot of stuff. 44 out of my 30 available kilos. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, that's going to be that's going to be a lot of a problem. I'm going to have to dump a lot of stuff in this chest and leave it behind. But that sounds like a problem for tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Bye.